Welcome back. Let us solve exercise 4.2. Now before solving exercise 4.2, let us write down what we got. We have sin theta y upon r cos theta is equal to x upon r and tan theta will be equal to y upon x. This we have already seen while learning the chapter, while learning the topic rather. Okay, now let us solve 4.2. Find the trigonometric ratios of the angles in the standard position whose terminal arm passes through the point. Now they are given six points. Six sub questions are there. We will solve only one and rest the you are going to solve. The first they are given 4, 3. Okay. When they are given angle, when they are given 4, 3, that means x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3 and r is equal to x square plus y square so the r is equal to 16 plus 9 that is 5 so r is equal to 5 in this case and so from this you can easily find out the value of sine theta that is y upon r r is given 3 by 5 cos theta x by 5 that is 4 by 5 and tan is y upon x that is 3 by 4. You have to write the answers properly. Now they have asked for trigonometric ratios. So you have to write the not only sine, cos and tan but you have to write the cosec, sec and cot also. So all six identities, all six trigonometric ratios you have to write. Okay. These also may appear for one mark. Now let us solve example number two. If the angle theta is equal to minus 60, theta is equal to minus 60 degrees, find the values of sine, cos, tan and sec. Now this appeared in March 12, March 14 exam for one mark and October 12 exam for one mark again popular question I think correct now you have to find out the value of sine cos tan cot sec cosec whatever it is though they are asked for only sine cos sec and tan I suggest you find out or write all the values this is very simple if theta is minus 60 that means we have already seen what are the sine cos tan of the negative angles sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta and tan of minus theta is equal to minus tan theta very simple so from here you just find out the values now here angle is 60 so what is sine 60 don't draw the that triangle in your notebook virtually draw it what is sine 60 sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 what is cos 60 cos 60 is 1 upon 2 draw that triangle virtually in front of your eyes and what is tan 60 tan 60 is root 3 okay so based on that just find out the values of cosec sec and cot please pause your video here and solve that Third example, find where the angle lies if the terminal arm passes through, few points are given, phi minus 7, where it will lie? Phi positive x minus 7 negative. So in which quadrant? Fourth quadrant. Then it is minus 8, 1. x is minus, y is plus. So second quadrant. Then minus 3, minus 3. Both are negative. So, third quadrant and 0 and 2, 0 and 2, which lies on y axis, quadrantal angle. Next is, if cos theta is equal to 7 by 25, example number 4, cos theta is equal to 7 by 25. And theta is in fourth quadrant, find the other five trigonometric ratios. 
it is in fourth quadrant find the other trigonometric ratios fourth quadrant now how will you solve this problem this is very simple you know that cos theta is nothing but your x upon r and we know that r square is equal to x square plus y square as it is x upon r we know the value of x and r okay we have to find out the value of y so that we can find out the other identities also now r square that is 25 square is equal to 7 square plus y square so it is 625 minus 49 is equal to y square 576 is equal to y square so y will be equal to plus minus 24 correct very simple but now plus 24 or minus 24 as they said that this is in fourth quadrant when it lies in fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative so we have to take here y equal to minus 24 y is minus 24 and now you can easily find the value of other ratios that is sine y upon r cos already given tan sec cosec and cot just please pause your video here and find out the all the ratios of trigonometry based on this the only problematic thing is to decide whether this is positive or negative so for that this fourth quadrant is given so you should able to judge in which quadrant it is if it is given fine if they say through some point and they are given the coordinates of the point then you judge whether y is positive or negative okay rest the example is very easy so here we finish exercise 4.2 very simple exercises 4.1 and 4.2 you will hardly get one or two mark uh, examples in your exam based on these two exercises so here we finish exercise 4.2 thank you